When even a Nobel laureate in physics expresses doubt about our understanding of the universe, it becomes evident that we are standing at the threshold of a new astronomical era. The field of cosmology, once thought to be on solid footing, is now facing a wave of uncertainty and curiosity. Adam Arzi, a prominent physicist, is far from alone in his discomfort. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is continuously uncovering cosmic phenomena that challenge the very models we have relied upon for decades. How can it be that galaxies, once thought to be impossible, are now confirmed to exist? These groundbreaking discoveries raise fundamental questions about the future of our research and whether the scientific theories we have worked with for so long are beginning to unravel. As we gaze deeper into the cosmos, we find ourselves confronting a reality more strange and complex than we could have imagined. Seemingly simple questions, when probed deeply, reveal an astonishing complexity. Take, for example, the expansion rate of the universe, an idea that, at first glance, seems relatively straightforward. Yet, this question holds the key to some of the most profound mysteries in modern physics. It is widely accepted that the universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The further galaxies are from us, the faster they appear to be receding. In other words, if galaxy A is twice as far from Earth as galaxy B, its rate of recession is also twice as fast. This relationship, first identified by Edwin Hubble and other pioneering astronomers, is fundamental to our understanding of the universe. To calculate the rate at which two galaxies are receding from each other, we must know their distance and a key constant that describes how their recession is related to that distance, the Hubble constant. However, this seemingly simple concept is where the story takes a complicated turn. For years, there has been intense debate and controversy among experts regarding the exact value of this constant. Measurements taken using different methods have yielded conflicting results, leading to confusion about the true rate of expansion. One method, based on the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, gives us a value of about 60 km per second per megaparsec. The CMB is a faint afterglow of the Big Bang, a key piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. This radiation is considered by many to be the most reliable way to measure the expansion of the universe. On the other hand, if we use Cepheid variables, stars that fluctuate in brightness over time, the expansion rate rises to around 73 km per second per megaparsec. This discrepancy suggests that the universe is expanding faster in our region of space compared to the broader universe, especially within the first three billion light years. This mismatch between the two measurements is what has come to be known as the Hubble tension. So far, no one has been able to resolve this issue, and it continues to challenge our understanding of the universe's evolution. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. Scientists had speculated that the mystery of the expansion rate might be tied to errors in the data from the Hubble Space Telescope, which also measures the expansion rate. Adam Rhee, a physicist at Johns Hopkins University, and a Nobel laureate in physics in 2011, has taken a keen interest in this discrepancy. Along with other researchers, he showed that the universe's expansion is accelerating, but this new data raised even more questions. Rhee's team, utilizing the advanced capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, embarked on an investigation to determine whether the Hubble Space Telescope's data could be flawed. They were particularly interested in understanding whether errors in measurement could explain the Hubble tension. To understand how the expansion of the universe is determined, scientists rely on what is known as the Cosmic Distance Ladder. Each rung on this ladder represents a different method of measuring cosmic distances, building on the previous method. If any stage in this process is inaccurate, it can skew all the measurements that follow. However, as distances increase, so does the difficulty in measuring them accurately. 
Light from distant stars becomes muddled with light from other sources, creating a blurry picture of the cosmos. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope's unprecedented power comes into play. With a capability 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST can peer deeper into space, revealing new details with unparalleled clarity. In a groundbreaking study published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, Wee's team used the James Webb Space Telescope to scan the very regions previously studied by Hubble. The results were clear, no errors were found in the Hubble Space Telescope's measurements. This means that the Hubble tension remains unsolved, and it continues to puzzle scientists. Adam Re offers a striking yet simple explanation for this, perhaps we have misunderstood the very nature of the universe. We might have missed something crucial in our previous investigations. It's time to explore whether our existing models need to be rewritten to connect the origins of the cosmos, with its present state. This new perspective could ultimately challenge and possibly redefine Einstein's theory of gravity. But Re and his team are not alone in tackling the Hubble tension. Scientists at the University of Bonn and St. Andrews University are also exploring this mystery and have proposed a new and intriguing explanation. Their hypothesis suggests that our planet exists within a bubble-shaped region of space where matter is unusually sparse. The density of matter is significantly higher at the edges of this bubble, creating a gravitational effect that pulls galaxies towards the bubble's edge. As a result, these galaxies are moving away from us faster than we had previously expected. This explanation is certainly plausible, but it opens up a new set of questions. Why does the standard model of cosmology not predict the existence of these bubbles? According to the standard model, matter should be uniformly distributed throughout space. The fact that we are observing such irregularities in matter distribution, is a major problem for our current understanding. At this point, scientists are beginning to entertain the possibility that Einstein's theory of gravity might need to be revised. Some researchers have turned to the work of the physicist Mordechai Milgram, who proposed a modified version of Newtonian gravity in the 1980s known as Modified Newtonian Dynamics MOND. Though MOND has yet to gain widespread acceptance, it has shown remarkable accuracy in predicting the existence of these cosmic bubbles. If Milgram's theory holds true, it could completely change our approach to the Hubble tension. Instead of worrying about discrepancies in the expansion rate, the observed differences might be the result of irregularities in the distribution of matter. The idea that gravity behaves differently than we once thought could have far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe. While it remains to be seen whether Mond or similar theories will gain broader acceptance, one thing is clear, we still have a great deal to learn about the universe, both its past and its future. In the world of cosmology, even a single piece of new information can send shockwaves through the scientific community. For example, the record redshift of the galaxy Jade's GSZ 1440 has provided a remarkable insight, this gravitationally bound group of stars existed just 290 million years after the Big Bang. This finding raises fascinating questions, how could such a galaxy have been so bright and massive at that early stage? Where did the necessary matter come from? Thanks to the JWST's near-infrared camera, we now know that this structure took approximately 100 million years to grow to its current size. This infant galaxy defies many of the theoretical models we've developed to understand the early universe. Moreover, Jade's GSZ 1440 isn't alone. In early 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope added six more galaxies to our star maps, galaxies that are far more massive than expected. These galaxies, which existed when the universe was only 500 to 700 million years old, are shockingly similar to our Milky Way. This discovery contradicts conventional cosmology, which says such massive structures should not have formed so early in the universe's history. 
These galaxies are truly extraordinary. Some contain more than 10 billion solar masses of stars, and one may even contain over 100 billion solar masses. The question that arises now is, how did these galaxies come to be so massive in such a short period? If these galaxies are real, their existence would challenge everything we thought we knew about cosmology. To explain their presence, we would have to consider that the density of matter in the early universe may have been up to five times higher than current models suggest. Alternatively, these galaxies could have evolved in ways that we don't yet fully understand. These startling discoveries are forcing us to reconsider the entire history of the universe, and perhaps even rethink the Big Bang theory itself. As we continue to uncover more cosmic secrets, we are reminded that there is still so much left to discover. What do you think about these mind-bending revelations? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content like this. Thank you so 